Like, visually, this is cool. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? South African Geek here. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Armageddon Part 2. The Flash. He's the big event. He does something in the future that makes somebody travel to the past to try and kill him. You even have some guests popping in and out. Got Ray Palmer in the first episode. I don't know who we got this episode. But I have to clarify, I'm only here for this event. I'm not here for the whole season. Probably I'll be back for the last two episodes of the season. It's too many filler episodes with DCW shows. And hey, my vibe. Even the side plots about uh, citizen media were so boring to me last week. <laughs> but anyway, let's not waste any more time. I just dive right into it. The Flash. Why is he attacking him? Didn't they make a seven day deal? He wanted to see if he has fast healing. So he did an experiment to figure out how much force he needs to kill him? Madness? What's worse than losing Iris, turning into Sabotar, all that shit? What's happening? Tomorrow. Well, tomorrow is the beginning. Fate flash. He's gonna get speed madness. <laughs> oh my god, done. Part two. Alex! Marcus, she's hooking Caitlin up, but not inviting her to a wedding. <laughs> Killer Frost is back. That speed dick in episode was phenomenal. Shitty ending, though. As strong as the Kryptonian? They're always showing you areas of Star Labs. She's trying to kill him. Why would they build a weapon? I mean, like, he's not really a bad guy. He's here to save the future. Look at Iris, all sun kissed. Fine ass. <laughs> Having a hard time lately? Did something happen to Joe West? But wouldn't Iris also be affected by it? Dude, he calls. How many bank robberies are in Central City? Goddamn. Damn, so there's a meta that makes you go crazy? Why is he suspended? Federal crimes? What the hell? Your badge, Al. So he's in Star Labs searching Barry's mind? You make him go crazy showing up and disappearing like that. What? No, please. That's hella convenient. Where is Joe? Which is why I came about to slap Oh, he went to the best lawyer in the building. I am gonna bleed. Why is she mad mad? What's been hard? What's happening? Why are you stalking him, dog? Give him the seven days. Why is he threatening him? Like he wants him to turn bad. Phasing through walls, not in costume. Sure, give the DA more evidence to you tampering with evidence. <laughs> what does he say? Get out of there, Blair Barry Allen. Oh, no, that kind of freaked me out the way it popped up. They're shutting down Star Labs because of a radiation leak? A lot of convenient stuff are happening. Too many convenient things. They're demolishing Star Labs now. This is a weird episode. Why is Gideon's voice different here? They couldn't afford the real Gideon's voice in Legends. It's not that they had, they had contingencies. Damn, he actually did build a weapon against that dude. You got a race data? So this episode destroyed Star Labs, destroyed Gideon, destroyed his reputation. There's no way this is actually happening, right? Leave it on faith. 
Okay. But speak thinking made him more logical. It didn't make him go mad. Zotar. Zotar could be the real reason. Sounds like a Power Ranger villain. Okay, Zotar. Looking like you're a council member in the cane. I know her from somewhere. This actress, I mean. What? He destroyed his house? Why didn't they show us him go crazy? Why are they still aiming the weapons on him? He's speaking. Why were they still in his apartment, by the way? But then she'll control your mind again. This is a weird episode. I don't know how I feel about it. Is it just me? Something's off about this episode. Maybe it's because there's so much exposition and so many convenient things happening that it's making the story flow weird for me. They're telling us his backstory now. So he doesn't want to make the same mistakes again. But he was like low-key gloating that shit was getting bad for Barry at some point in this episode. You see what I'm saying? It's inconsistent. Weren't they gonna be an item at some point? Uh-huh. So she willingly does the DNA DNT raids with him, but she's also internally embarrassed to talk to him about it? That's so odd. Maybe I'm thinking too much about this episode. How do you He's a pacifist? He made a ray gun at ten years old. The team. Exposition galore. Can't do that if you do yeah, stay true to yourself. Blah blah blah. Yep. <laughs> Yo, you're probably gonna get so much hate from Flash uh, fans because of this reaction. But I'm a fan too. But this is not fun for me. She's back to make you go crazy. Why is she stealing art? Not many mind villains the Flash has faced. How many times they've done that thing they put on the Flash's head to stop mind control villains? The fact that they haven't done it this time is surprising. <laughs> I'm just curious, why didn't he think of a contingency? He couldn't stop her first, then he didn't think of a way to stop her the second time. I'm not surprised this is happening. Is she breaking his back? Is he gonna vibrate in the air? Oh shit! Like, visually this is cool. Why is she pushing him away? Like, ooh. Dude just became a ball of lightning. Where are all those zombie people that were around? They conveniently disappeared also. Why is he doing what? So Joe is dead? What? That does not make sense logically though. The previous episode he was more confident. Him and Iris are so happy. What the hell? I'm so confused. Why would Cecile be the only one mourning him? Why is Cecile mad at him? This episode does not make sense. Why can't he accept that? Was he questioning it before? I can't do this with you. What? Everything is so convenient in this episode that it doesn't make sense. All of this is not making any sense. <laughs> this is a stupid episode. Wait. Wasn't he in front of Iris one moment? Is it even a continuity error? This episode is so dumb. <laughs> they lost trust in him so quick, fam. Hey, it's the Hall of Justice. Black Lightning. Did he say injustice? And how does he know what he means by injustice? <laughs> it's gonna be my head up for this episode reaction. What the fuck was this? <laughs> this was a weird ass episode, dog. I knew something was wrong, but it started falling into place. How inconsistent a lot of these things are. How hella convenient a lot of things. It's like this episode forget, forgot about character and and focused on plot and I hate it when shows do that because characters don't act like themselves they just conveniently 
do things that work for the plot. Like they know that Barry is going to have a psychotic break. But then they're yelling at him for forgetting a specific thing. They say it's not funny. Why would Barry, out of all people, joke about Joe's death? Joe's son. Why would he be the first person your guys think would make these remarks about Joe if Joe's really dead? Why would everybody else be taking Joe's death more serious than Barry? Why is he forgetting that Joe died? A lot of things are not adding up, yo. Why would they, him and, and Iris be so happy in the first episode who want to start a family? And Cecile and the kid be the only one mourning Joe. Then randomly, everybody mourns Joe the second episode. I, I guess they were supposed to make it like a twist reveal, but it doesn't make sense because of how they hit the twist in the first episode. They did throw some hints in the previous episode, like Cecile's going through it, but why would Cecile be the only one going through it? It's, only, it's not only your significant other that misses you when you also have like three children and like a whole side family of people. Why would only Cecile be going through it in the first episode? Like they did that so they can give us this twist. So many things are inconsistent about this episode. So many things were so convenient. Even made a continuity error, dog. Dog, I hated this episode so much. <laughs> I wish I didn't. I, I don't think I'm good. <laughs> Should I even continue these how many three more episodes because they're gonna try to dig themselves out of the hole they put themselves in in one episode they ruined the whole season for me in one episode fuck dog dog <laughs>